happy quarantine. My name is Vanessa and today's video is all about Fenty skin. If you've been watching my videos for a couple of years now, I have been a Rihanna fan. I absolutely love her. I think her makeup products are absolutely amazing. So of course I had to jump on the Fenty Skin train. When I first saw the promotions for Fenty Skin, I was hella excited. I can't even front. So this video is a first impressions video featuring Fenty Skin. I did get the starter pack which comes with three different products which I will be discussing in today's video. So if you haven't already checked these out you can use this review as a guide to kind of help you figure out if you want to get these fancy products or not. And I've never done a skincare review on my channel so I'm excited about that. Before we get started with this video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Vanessa Monet family where I give a bunch of beauty reviews, tutorials, vlogs, lifestyle stuff, and things like that. So the first product, as you guys can see, is the Fenty Skin Total Remove It All Cleanser. One thing that Rihanna said about her products is that she wanted them to have multiple uses, which I think is great if you are just trying to get into the skincare realm and to figure out what works for your skin and to get the most bang for your buck. So immediately when I seen that these products can be used for more than one thing, I was super duper excited about that. So what this product promises is hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying. Daily cleanser and makeup remover all in one. I don't really know how I feel about that though because for me, I kind of have to use a makeup wipe to get my makeup off first and then I go in with a cleanser and then I cleanse my skin again. So I kind of use a three step system in cleansing my skin because sometimes the makeup can get really deep in your pores, sometimes days on end. I'm not sure initially how one cleanser can do all of those things but I am excited to try it out. The one thing that I do love about this product is that the cap is not removable so you just squeeze it in your hand. One thing I'll say when I initially use the cleanser is it's very gentle. If you are a person who has really sensitive skin or very normal skin I think a gentle cleanser is really all you need. For me I usually use a Cetaphil which is a very soft cleanser super soft cleanser because my skin's pretty much normal to dry so and I don't really have acne prone skin so this cleanser is perfect I feel like it kind of matched that same energy as far as the Cetaphil goes and I was really able to dive deep into my skin and really cleanse it all I will say though if you have makeup on your skin you have to go in with this cleanser twice Work up that lather as you would any soap like when you're in the shower and go ahead and use this cleanser twice. I promise it'll get all of the makeup off and out of your skin and the great thing about this is it doesn't strip your skin. So that's one thing I can say that this product does promise which it doesn't really strip the skin and leave it dry. And sometimes if you're a person who doesn't use skincare and you're using like bar soap on your skin, your face can get really cracked and really dry. But this does not do that. Even after two uses, I really like that it has a really thick consistency. When it's thicker, it works better. I don't know about you guys because I like to use a lot and it kind of limits your amount once you figure out how thick it is. The fragrance is very minimal. It has a very pleasant smell though but I know sometimes for people who have very sensitive skin, who have very irritated skin when it comes to fragrance, I don't know how you might feel about that because again it does have a little bit of fragrance in it. Try it at your own risk. I do recommend it though if I had to. I would give the Fenty Skin Cleanser maybe a 9 out of 10. So the next product I want to talk about is the Fenty Skin Fat Water. Now on the product it claims instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. So when I first seen the Fat Water, I was immediately excited because I'm the kind of person who 
really likes to tone my skin. I like to usually use the Pixi toner that I can get from Target. It is a little pricey, but it does work well on the skin. One thing I will say about the fat water is it is really fat. When you pour it into your hand, it has a juicier feel to it. Not so much of a water-based, but more so like a serum, almost like a gel that you apply to your skin and immediately you will start to feel it working in. Now for me, I didn't have any problems with using the fat water, but I do think that if you are a person who has really sensitive skin, I can tell you that your skin may get a little bit irritated because as I was working it into the skin, I literally felt it working. And I don't know if that's irritation or if that's it just doing its job. But uh, immediately after, I let it dry down and my face felt pretty normal which is a good thing when you're applying this you want to make sure you apply a generous amount in your hand you want to work it into your hands and apply it with your fingers for me I feel like whenever you're doing skincare make sure your hands are super clean and you're working that fat water into your skin it says use night and day on clean skin apply over the face with fingers like i've already just told you guys the fat water i feel like can be a little irritating on the skin again if you have really sensitive skin but for me i think that if i just use a minimal amount and i go in with it it is okay if i had to give this a rating i would probably give it a five out of ten only because it may work for some it may not work for some and I just want to be as honest and transparent as I possibly can be with the fat water because again this was the product that I was most excited to see because I feel like cleansers are cleansers you know but we don't necessarily know about toners and for me working on those dark spots working on that texture you always 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 want to find a really great toner so this is something that you can get. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, I definitely understand. But the fat water is super cute though. So even if you are a person who is a Rihanna stan, you might want to support it because it's pretty lit. The last product that comes in the starter set is the Fenty Skin Moisturizing SPF. Now again, I did say that these products are two-in-one. They have multiple uses for them. So not only does this is supposed to moisturize your skin, it's also supposed to give you that SPF, that skin protection. Even if you have a little melanin in your skin, we all need SPF. This is my favorite product so far because of how it looks. I've never seen anything like it. You twist it up, you can take these out, and these are refillables. So what I'm guessing is you can actually buy the refillables. This is called the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen. So it's super cute. It comes like this. They, Rihanna does say that use every single day, no excuses. As women of color, it's important to incorporate a SPF into your skincare routine because you always want to have skin protection when you go out there fighting off all of those things. And this pretty much should do the trick. Apply this before makeup for the ultimate canvas. I put this on before makeup and I will say I did notice a slight difference in the texture of my skin. It did feel smoother which is really important. For me, I, I was a person who didn't necessarily use SPF so it was nice to get a moisturizer and SPF all in one and it also limits your product use. One thing I can say I like about it already though is it doesn't feel too oily. Okay, nor does it feel drying. Sometimes as women of color, when we apply moisturizers and things to our face, it doesn't feel like anything. Because let's face it, my skin's dry. I don't know about you guys, but I have really dry skin. And I'm using usually using like almond oil and coconut oil on my skin to kind of like moisturize it before makeup. It has a really nice texture to it. It's thick so you get like that expensive feel but it's not too much not too oily and it doesn't leave your face sticky like some SPFs usually do I did notice when I was working the lather into my skin my skin felt very white 
as it would when I would use a, a, an SPF on its own. But once I was done, my skin felt really glowy, really nice. And that's something that is very important whenever you're doing um, SPF or moisturizer on your face. So if I had to recommend this product, I would probably give it a 8 out of 10. I would give it a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 if it was a little bit more moisturizing. The starter kit looks like this. I'll link it in my description box below for all of the prices and the items um, because Rihanna did go ahead and restock these because when they first came out, they did sell out, which is cool because um, Rihanna is really known for makeup. So skincare is literally a game changer. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that skincare and makeup go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. You cannot love one without the other if you appreciate and love your canvas. These products are for the everyday person. These products are geared to everybody and a lot of times skincare needs are different for each and every one of us like I said for me I don't really have to focus so much on products that really focus on specific things with my skin because again my skin is very normal to dry so yeah guys that pretty much wraps up my thoughts about the Fenty starter set which I will be incorporating in my daily routine I will say I will keep you guys updated once I complete using this because again I'm a person who uses skincare in the morning and in the night so I'm pretty sure I'll run through these products within the month but I really really enjoyed them I don't think that they are too expensive for a brand in Sephora that sells skincare because I'm not gonna front the skincare in Sephora is a little pricey but again if you care about your skin and you love your skin you don't mind spending a pretty penny on your skin you know what I mean? Um, I do want to commend Rihanna for coming out with products that um, are multi-purposeful and are great. Go ahead and check out Fenty Skin. I have left a direct link in my description box below if you guys would like to check them out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out some of my other Fenty videos. I will link them down below as well. I appreciate you for sticking by to the end of this video and listening to my opinion because it is my opinion about the Fenty skin products talk to me in the comments I do talk back I really want to know how you guys feel about them but again give me a few days give me a month and I'll come back with you guys for an update but I can go on and on because I haven't seen y'all in a minute but I will go ahead and wrap the video I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next one